Then it's getting a spinoff. Who said that? Yo, what am I talking about? Y'all have been flooding my comments and it's been all over Instagram and Twitter that Dennis is actually getting a spinoff, right? It was even reported by the YouTube blogger Ryan Hustler. Now, a lot of you guys are asking, is he getting a spinoff? I've reached out to my sources and let me tell you what I can say and what I do know, right? Number one. First of all, why wouldn't they give Dennis a spinoff? He is a crowd pleaser. He is the breakout star for that show, right? They were going to give Peter Thomas a show. If you guys don't remember, they were really going to give Peter Thomas a show. Now, I can say nobody's really clear on why that deal got jettisoned or why it fell through, but it was in the final stages. So it's not like they wouldn't give a young, well, <laughs> Peter and young, but like they wouldn't give a club owner a show and Dennis is building his empire. Let me say this. My sources did say that why nothing is concerned is confirmed. Dennis is definitely in the running to get his spinoff right now. Why? Are they looking at Dennis and they think Dennis is the right one to do it? My sources are telling me because Dennis don't D-G-A-F. Did I say that right? I'm trying to cut down on cursing so y'all can fill in the blanks. He doesn't give a gut mm, about anything. There is no woman in his life, right, that he cares about like protecting or protecting the relationship and putting on the front, right? And like we saw in Portia Family Matters, Dennis is going to give you what the viewers have been craving, Right which is authenticity, which is showing his real life, which is telling you how he really feels. And I know y'all be in the comments talking about, ooh, yeah, give me a man like Dennis, to which I say, no, because we, well, listen, we ain't forget what Dennis did to Portia. It's just so bad that Portia and Simon, by comparison, look even worse. But word on the street in Atlanta is, allegedly, Dennis is a handful. Dennis do, the same way he talked to Storm, Dennis do be talking to women like that, that he doesn't know or respect. But you know what, right? Dennis will always tell you where he stands, what he means, and what's going on. And he doesn't care if the cameras are there because he's an open and honest person. That might be why him and Portia actually never really worked out. Because Portia is all about the front and the fluff and everything else. We saw the, the way she put on a happy marriage with Cordell. If you haven't seen my book review, go look at it, right? We saw the way she fluffed up Dennis' finances, then talking about he giving out fake Rolexes and this and that. And we see currently the way she's fluffing her now man, Simon Gabodia. We gonna get into that in a minute, the way they're all over Atlanta fronting a profile like they just got her. Mm-mm, not on my watch. Not on my watch. That's right, right? Now, okay, so let's get back into this, right? Dennis is a little rough and rugged around the edges. You know, he's charming, he's funny, he's witting. He doesn't care about the drama going around him. He has no relationship to protect. And unlike some people, he's not interested in looking like a millionaire. Also, did you catch with Mike Hill talking about some, how come there's no positive role models on TV for black men? I, 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 I know, right? Don't roll your eyes, right? But, right? Could this also be him putting in two words and trying to be like there is a need for it? Because Mike is actually kind of tight with Dennis. Is he just putting it out there in the universe that there is a need for it? Let's go into the roll up. Has he been greenlit? Absolutely not. Are they in talks and do they think it's a great idea? Listen, if they thought giving Peter Thomas a show, you can't tell me they don't think Dennis, because Dennis is a proven commodity with or without Portia. Like I said, Portia thought, remember in the beginning, she was like, this will all make sense. And Simon was like, that's right, we're going to find out. And now they on thing, uh, literally Simon in his builder bear pajamas talking about this is all entertainment. And I like Dennis for entertainment, right? I bet you do, right? Probably was sick in that restaurant with your little alleged side bottle waitress watching the review while your sugar mommy was out looking for. So let's run this down, right? Dennis, right? In the pros of Dennis, right? Dennis, he doesn't mind being a mess. He don't mind showing his real life. He don't got no relationship to protect. And he really doesn't really have that deep of feelings for anybody he's dating that he's worried about something negative come out. You saw him when he was with Portia, right? He is willing to tell his real truth. And this is something fans have been craving. We, that's Mushu. We've been craving that, right? And he speaks his mind and says it the way he is. What's the cons? There are none. Because like we saw with Simon the Body and Portia, Bravo has given spinoffs to everybody. Some of them are deserved, like Old Lady Gang, right? And some of them, I don't know, the jury's still out, right? But we can see that Dennis has proven himself in green screens, right? And they sh and this is the thing that they need from reality TV people. While OWN and all these other places are killing it, 
Because it's not enough to just have charismatic people on screen. It's not enough to be able to use people like puppets. We can feel the authenticity, authenticity and we want people who are authentic on our screen. Right? Anyway, let's move on. Speaking of inauthentic, y'all. <sighs> Simon Dunn promised Portia three weddings and a funeral for the haters. And if you guys go through my things, you will see where they're getting married in Nigeria, where they're planning on their destination wedding, the Four Seasons. And probably, I think they're gonna be at the Biltmore uh, Hotel in Atlanta if they do a hometown wedding. My videos are in the uh, description box. You can go look at them. If not, I'll do a little video putting them all together, right? Listen, right? The network, even though they don't want to green light a second season, there is talk of letting, literally letting her do a Tamra situation from the Real Housewives of OC where you didn't get four, five, six, eight episodes. You literally get a two or three hour special. Porch is getting married and you walk down the aisle because listen to me and I told you that Bravo was sick of Portia and literally her not showing her real life. Now things can change and she could give she could give them the opie dope just like she does every season but for right now they want to wrap up her storyline the same way they wrapped up Cynthia's and Mike Hills and the same way they wrapped up Tamara and Eddie's. Literally a special you get married you have your happy ever after cut dry thank you very much goodbye. My sources have been telling me right bravo is sick of Portia. She's sick. They're sick of the fakeness. He even bought a fake boyfriend on. Now listen, I don't care whether y'all like Portia or not. We have to admit that this reeks of doing something for a storyline. Your date, first of all, is low down, right? You date your co-worker's husband, right? Then, according to them, in a month, y'all get engaged. And now it's not even a year later. Tell it to you. We all know y'all been messing around for a while, but it's not a year later since y'all started being seen with the summons up, right? And now y'all getting married and you having three weddings. Y'all, what are we going to call it and call it what it is? This is a plot. This is a storyline. And anybody that has taken that relationship serious is a big dum-dum. They can put all the Build-A-Bear pajama uh, Instagram posts up they want. They can literally do whatever. Don't know, but listen. Listen. Now, there is this going on, right? The producers are actually trying to see how it can get wrapped up. And there have been theories floating around that Portia can have one or two choices. Wait, Tatters House, I want to hear what you think. Are you here? Because listen, Bravo will be reading these comments. Are you here to see Dennis's spinoff? Do you want to see Portia's getting married? Do you guys believe this is anything but a storyline? All those years she dragged Kenya Moore. And now look at Portia making a storyline like she works for a telenovela. Man, how the mighty have fallen. Anyway, listen, it's 2022. I said it before. Let's do a prayer so girl and hope that she is released from whatever spell and shackles she is under and that she comes into herself, realizes her power and literally rises to the place a woman of her beauty, charisma and stature should be at. Listen, that's my prayer to her. Simon, you can go kick rocks. All right, you guys, little tattletales. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.